Hey guys, so today I I had a bit of a meltdown actually about the lighting in the studio because I did my ballet and then I wanted to film for, you know, the TV shows. And well, I'll tell you what, my, the, my calves really ached this morning at ballet and it wasn't the calf, uh, not my calves, the, the front of my um, thighs, my upper thighs. And do you know what? That's not from ballet because the ballet, it's usually a sort of glutes thing that hurts. Um, and I think that was from my my scarf workout that I did yesterday. I thought, wow, that means it really, really works. Well, Or it means I'm really unfit in certain areas. I really like combining um, different fitness programs. So if you, you know, combine kind of ballet bar with, um, you know, a gentle weight training, because the thing with if you want to ballet body weight, you don't really want to weight train um, because it, you know, it grows your muscles. It doesn't lengthen them. It fattens them. So you become bulkier um, if you eat correctly. And I, I don't really want to be bulkier. I want long, lean legs. You know, that's the that's the look I'm going for, guys. <laughs> so, um Anyway, I was uh, I'd done all my ballet and everything, and it was it's been pouring down with rain, and it's been really miserable. And and I sort of got a melee because I thought, how am I going to, you know, if the wind is coming. It gets dark so quickly. I had an old slight a weird thing that happened to me the other day. I'll tell you about it in, in a minute. While I was out on my bicycle in the dark, and it really threw me, and I I I got sad. You know, you get sad. Seasonable seasonal adjustment disorder. I, I had a wave of it this afternoon. I just thought, God, you know, yesterday I was so upbeat. I thought I'm going to make a really wonderful career out of just being me and doing all the things that I really love, you know, music and painting and all of that. And then today I, I just thought it's going to be so so much harder than I anticipated. Anyway, I thought, no, I have to pull myself out of this. So I I bought a screen, right, and it's about... I think it's about six foot. It may be it may be seven actually. It's very tall. And I bought it online and it came in a box and it had long metal tubes that you pieced together and these very flimsy or like a tent material in white that you slid onto the to each um metal pole. And I thought, this is never going to stand up. I actually had to get my brother to come and help me because I did one bit and it was wrong and I couldn't get it out. <laughs> I needed somebody a bit stronger. Um, anyway, it's it's proved really good for the ballet. Um, not the ballet, my, my teaching, um, my fitness, I should say. Um, and I, I just it just covers up the back of the kitchen, which is all black. <laughs> Oh, there we go again. And because the kitchen's all black, it sucks the light in and it's harder to see me when I'm doing my fitness stuff. Do you see what I mean? Um, and I just went in, in there just now and I thought, well, why don't I... I didn't want to use the webcam because the webcam isn't very good in low light. You need a, a camera that's better in low light. Um so I thought, well, I'm going to try the phone. And also you want to be quite close. With fitness, you can be quite a long way away. So it's, that's going to be a bit easier, you know, for... You, you don't need to see the details. You don't need to see what my fingers are doing on fine, you know, viola strings, for example. You you just need to see what my body's doing. It's, and, you know, my body's big. Um, it's not, you know, the, the details are relevant, really. So um, I... I put this screen in a semicircle so all and then I got two lights I thought I'm gonna to have to buy bloody lights you know I'm gonna to have to buy strong proper tv studio lights I googled it and it, you need this you need that and da 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 I just thought god this is just gonna be such a pain in the proverbial anyway I I had two lights already there were one was really strong and one was a ring light for doing actually for doing sort of tiktok and stuff which I'd bought so I just put those two on and I mounted the cam in this TikTok light thing that I had. And it's great. It's absolutely wonderful. And I I did a, a little screen test of myself because, you know, I don't want to look horrendous. And the thing with the thing with playing a viola, if you go from below, you're going to see 
you know, just a big double chin, really. I mean, I don't, I don't suppose I have a double chin, but it's, you know, it's, it shows its age sort of thing. And I didn't want, I, you, you don't really want that to be the biggest thing on the screen. It's fine if it's there, but you, what you want to be nice and clear and really show is, is the, the me- mechanism of your performance you're playing. So, um, and it, it just worked brilliantly. Oh, I'm so sorry. It keeps doing that, doesn't it? <laughs> What's it's eBay again? telling me that if I don't bid more, I won't get something. Um, So, yes, it absolutely worked perfectly. Now, it's a bit late now. It's gone seven. I didn't want to do a lesson now because, uh, you know, sort of even with I was playing the acoustic, actually, which was really bloody loud. Um, And I I think somebody gave me this um, viola and I don't like the A string and the D string, but I really like the C string and the G string, right? Um, but most of the music that I'm doing, when you start, you, you sort of use the D and the A more often. Um, well, in fact, all the way through, you know, it's, we tend not to use the the lower notes. I don't know when, but I've, I'm up to sort of Suzuki book three and I'm not really using those notes still. So I thought, well, that's a shame. And it, it it's to do with the reverb. So I probably need to get some better strings, some strings that are a bit more um, spongy. I might, and I might go for some gut strings. I think I'm going to try gut strings next. So anyway, um, it worked. It's brilliant, guys. So I, that's with two lights that cost me very, very little money. The ring light, which is the TikTok, you know, YouTube thing, I suppose is about... T- 10 inches or 12 inches maybe um uh, from you know in diameter um or is it radius oh diameter I think yeah the whole thing like a 12 inch record yeah yeah um and you it's got a warm light and a cold light now my my living room area the, the drawing room the music room is lit with blue and I tell you what I've got a, a neon sign that says I serve land and when I film on that with that when it shows it the camera goes all funny it gets kind of fuzzy yeah um but because it's through this screen this five paneled screen that i turn into a semicircle behind me um it, i don't get the flashing and you see i serve a in lights i just it's so cool so it's a bit of a bonus that anyway I, the point i'm sort of getting across is you don't need to spend very much money and you can have something that looks really really good so this screen it's as as I said I think it's you know easily six foot um and maybe more and this it's not completely see-through white it's like this tent material um but you can see light through it and um I get and also by the way I've got a six foot mirror and I'm working in front of that because I like to watch myself when I'm playing, right? You won't see that on the video, the mirror, but the the light is all bouncing straight back. So light is being flooded back onto me. So I'm sort of getting, you know, double action. Um, and the white screen is diffusing everything that's beyond it. Um, so it ge- it gives this really... Um, very uh, attractive looking um, setup. You know, the, the viola looks nice. I look bearable. Um, the lighting is very easy on the eyes, but you can see the detail. Um, and there's not too much sort of garish contrast. The only thing which is a bit of a shame is that every now and then you do see the ring light in the reflection of my glasses, which I think might be annoying if I'm talking to camera but if I don't look at the camera too much what I might get is some half half glasses you know half mast and and then I can sort of look over them when I'm talking but yeah so all good to go now tomorrow I'm doing this thing I'm going to I'm doing a photography project um for the heritage the Royal Navy the Gosport Heritage week long festival and um I'm going to be off at about 9.30 maybe. Um, so I doubt I'll get to to do that. And I think there's something else at one. So I'll do it later later in the afternoon. Um, we'll do all three instruments. 
let's do all three instruments. Well, maybe not piano because I haven't set the piano up. I, piano is a tricky one. I think piano is going to have to be actually with the GoPro. I can't see a way around it because, it, you know, it's difficult to, to mount a camera over your hands. It's just, you know, the whole setup is, is really awkward. But I'll have a play around because it's much easier to do it on the phone and then just upload it to all my different channels. Um, it's much, much easier to do that than, than you know, faffing about. I've been using the word faff all week. I really like it. Rather than faffing about um, with, you know, trying to get the angles right and all of that. I mean, what I've done in my in the music room now with the the screen and everything, I leave the lights where they are in situ so I don't have to faff about tomorrow. Um, and I just move the screen because it folds up. It's really light and I can carry it. So it's just perfect. I wish I could remember where I got it. I think it was eBay. Um, so and it was it was a bit expensive. I think it was about 80 pounds maybe. But um, I knew that it was going to be really, really good. And the other thing is in my apartment, you know, I face the garden and then the block it's, part, it's all part of my block, but it faces me. So anyone can see in when you've got your lights on. And I don't have curtains. So this screen, I mean, that's what, actually why I got it, so that I could just put it up against the window at night. But this screen, having being in a circle, you know, it gets rid of all that because it, you, it's really weird trying to do anything when you think you're in a goldfish bowl. It feels, you know, it feels... Is my coffee getting cold? No, it isn't, but I'd better go in a minute. Um, it, you know, it feels... I always feel really self-conscious when I'm when I'm there. I just think, you know, the thought of somebody just gawping in um, because there are one, but on, what, six flats looking directly into mine and you just think, mm, that's a bit weird, isn't it? So the voyeurs... I mean, and I'm sure then they're, they're not. I'm sure they're not interested in me whatsoever. But you just don't know, do you? And you, you, for all you know, someone's there with a pair of binoculars watching your every single move. And I hate that. I absolutely hate it. it makes me feel very. Im it makes me feel like I've been invaded. So um, I got rid of all that. So I'm going to up this um, the the recommend for this this screen. Um, anyway, so tomorrow I feel much much better. I feel so much happier. I was really concerned today because of the bloody rain. I mean, I think we can live with a bit of rain noise, can't we? We can live with if you've, you're in the middle of a lesson, but you can hear rain outside. I think that's doable. I think that's okay. And this Galaxy, I'm recording on a Galaxy twenty four S twenty four, and I mean, it doesn't, it compares brilliantly with every, every other, um, you know, camera that I've, phone camera, smartphone that I've ever used. Um, but tomorrow I am, go when I go out on my photo trip, I am going to take a Canon SLR and I'm also going to take my GoPro. So I'm taking everything I own tomorrow um, because I'm, I'm sort of new to outdoor photography. It's not really something I've done a lot of. Um, and there's going to be a lot of trial and error, which I like that. I mean, I really like trial and error. L looking, very much looking for an in-house pho photographic style. Um, I think I'm getting there with the art, with an in-house style, but nowhere near with the photography, I don't think. And I really want to find that. I think it's for for business reasons, you know, it's... Um, Makes sense. Right, I'm off ski. I think that's the last broadcast today. I've waffled on so much, but it's been a total pleasure for me. Hope it has for you. Catch you tomorrow. I'll be um, live broadcasting on the phone when I get to this church that was mentioned in the Doomsday book. Um, my, my brother's actually been there before and he said it was, he, he's photographed the outside, so he hasn't been inside. Um, and he said, no, it's quite remarkable. So exciting stuff. So I'll catch you then live in the morning, guys.